All right, everybody, welcome to Plato Planets. I am your host, Andre, from the Keystone Science School, and today we're going to talk about the solar system. Now, it's pretty big, and we're just going to try to figure out how big it actually is. There are uh, eight planets in the solar system, and they all revolve around our sun. It's a beautiful sunny day out, so we can look at that for some inspiration. Now, to get started, you will need your Play-Doh and metal butter knife usually works the best uh, and some sort of cutting surface. Uh, I'm using my kitchen table. Now, uh, to start, we're just going to make our planets. We're just going to divvy them up and this whole loaf of Play-Doh will be able to make all of the planets proportional to the rest of the planets. So if you know what the biggest planet in the solar system is, you can assume that that planet will take up the most Play-Doh. And right off the bat, you'll, you'll see exactly where I'm going with this. So what you'll do is take your Play-Doh, mush it up. Now you should have about as much as I do. And I like to, I made it into a nice long loaf just so it's easy to cut. Now take this piece and cut it into 10 pieces. All right, now your loaf is cut into 10 relatively even pieces. Uh, looks like a big delicious pastry now. Don't, don't eat it, it's gonna taste real salty. I tried. Uh, and what you're gonna do is out of these 10, you're gonna take three of them, set them aside over here. And then you're gonna take six of them, and these six, you're going to mash them all together. Just mash them together. Mmm! Feels good. Now, this is going to be the beginning of our first planet. Not the first planet in the solar system, but like I said earlier, the planet that's going to take up the most mass. This is Jupiter. Or what's about to be Jupiter. Now, I'm going to set up uh, my planets this way. So that planets that are closest to the sun are on this side and planets that are further away from the sun are on this side. So Jupiter uh, is the fifth planet from the sun. So it's going to go kind of in the middle, but kind of further away. Now, back to our three pieces. Take all those and mash those together. And this is going to be the beginning of Saturn. Saturn being the sixth planet in the solar system. So it will live over here next to Jupiter. Now, this will begin to, this last piece of our original Plato loaf is going to make up all the rest of our planets. But there are a couple things to consider. Now, follow along. Take this last piece and make a new smaller mini loaf out of it. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to divide it into 10 equal parts. And hopefully you can get them as equal as you can, but 10 equal parts. Here are 10 relatively equal parts of Play-Doh. Now, take five of them, one, two, three, four, five, take these, and you can put them with Saturn. So half of what we had remaining is going to go into our gas giants anyway. Now, if you did what I did and made Saturn nice and round here, this has an excellent chance to give Saturn its beautiful, beautiful rings. How's that look? Saturn with its rings. Now, take two pieces, mash them together, and this becomes the last planet in our solar system. If anyone knows what it is, scream it out right now before I tell you. This is Neptune, and Neptune will live 
right over here at the end of the solar system. All right. Now, take two more parts from that second group of 10, mash them up, roll them around, nice and round, get that gravity, get that orb shape, that sphere that we love so much in our planets. This is gonna be Uranus, the seventh planet away from the sun. So the back half of our solar system here is starting to look pretty good. Now, Neptune and Uranus are about the same size, but not exactly the same, we'll get there. All right, now you've got one piece left from your second group of 10. Now you're gonna take that, you can make it into a new loaf, roll it out, make it nice and even, make it nice and pretty, because we're gonna cut it up again, because we're still missing four whole planets. Now, take it and divide this one into four equal parts. So this is easy, just one, and then quarter it up like you're chopping vegetables or something. Now, you've got four parts. Take three of them, smash them up. And do you think this is going to be a planet? Guess again, this is going back on to our gas giants here. Slap that onto Saturn. Now Saturn's got a fun hat. Uh, all right. Now you got one piece left. Now, take this, and this might be a little tough, but you're going to want to divide it into 10 equal pieces. It's like when you fold a piece of paper, eventually you can't fold it anymore because it gets so small. So we're going to see if we can divide this into 10 equal pieces. I wish you all the best of luck. There's one. Oh boy. That's all right. Got a little sloppy there, but we got our ten equal pieces for the remainder of our planets. Now, what you're going to do with these is take two of them take these two i like these two and you are going to finally create my personal favorite planet the one that we're all sitting on right here right now the planet earth now if your play-doh feels a little wet in your hands when you're playing with earth that's because earth is made up of 71 percent water most of it's stored in the oceans so most of it we can't drink but that's why it's called the blue planet, because from outer space, it looks blue and gorgeous, and it's covered in that wonderful thing that we love to swim in, water. So we'll put Earth right here, right near my heart. Now, where are we? Take two pieces, another two pieces. Take those, combine them up, make them nice and round orb-like, spherical, planetary. This is going to be the planet Venus. Now, Earth and Venus are relatively the same size. They're pretty close as far as planets go. Now, all right, take four of the remaining ten that you have from your pile, take those, smash them up, Make them nice and orb-like, spherical, planetary, and then forget about it. These are going back on Uranus, because Uranus is a little bit bigger than Neptune, and we never got around to that. So we're still adding on mass. Everything's not so easy. It's not so uh, cut and dry as you might think. So now we have, we have our two here, our two here. And our four here, so we should have two pieces left. What you're gonna do is combine them into one piece, and you're gonna wanna put this, wait for it, into 10 equal pieces. All right, 
I think I have 10 even pieces here. Now, we shall see. All right. Whew. Okay. All right. Take one of these pieces. And this, just one of them, is going to be my second favorite planet. The fourth planet from the sun, the red one. This is going to be Mars. Fun fact about Mars, the largest volcano in the solar system is on Mars. And, which is pretty wild to think about. Of your remaining 10, take four, one, two, three, four, combine them all up, take them, plant them on Neptune here. Give Neptune a little extra, a little extra gas, a little extra love. Got to roll that one up. All right. Should have five parts left. Take four of them. Or four of them. Take them. And put them on Uranus. Still not making any new planets. We've got one left. I hope if you can guess what the last one is, bonus points. But Neptune needed some more love. Uranus needed some more love. Saturn got plenty of love. It got rings and a hat. Mars, so far, it's the last one we've, we just made. It's looking like the smallest, but there's one more that we got to make. It's the smallest planet in the solar system, but it's also the closest to the sun. So you're going to take that last little piece. And take a wild guess at what you're going to do with it. You can divide it into 10 equal parts. So. I don't have a microscope with me. So dividing it into 10 equal parts might be a little tough. But we'll do our best. All right. If you have 10 equal parts, you're going to want to put them uh, into. You put seven of them over here and three of them over here. So, take the three and combine them with, who's going to get the love? Uranus is going to get some more love. It's going to get a little bit more mass. Now, these last little pieces, the seven tiny, tiny pieces from your last one that you had to divide up, this right here is going to be our lovely planet Mercury. We're going to put Mercury right here next to the glowing sunshine of this sun. 